Hey friends, welcome back to another video. This is Gerald and it's been a very interesting week. The past, you know, the past week has been really interesting. The stock market just went, Phew! but you know what's been having a great week? Miners. Miners have been more profitable than ever. But there's a caveat. You know, I started mining about, I think, two or three weeks ago, only to realize there are several challenges. Yeah, and it's not that easy to mine in Singapore because there's a lot of inconveniences involved. And that's why a lot of people said, you know what, sometimes it makes sense to just buy and hold the crypto directly. But here's the thing, if you've been trying to buy cryptos in Singapore, you can't really do much with the cryptos, right? So that's why a lot of people realize, hey, you know what, there's Binance.com, there's Kraken.com where you can use to uh, invest your cryptos and earn, you know, yield or return on those cryptos. That's where the problem comes in. How do you actually fund your Singapore dollars to Binance.com? And then what is like Silvergate? You know, some of you guys have been asking me, how do you actually fund your account? So today, we're going to talk about how you can fund like deposit and uh, withdraw. Like what are the cheapest way to deposit and withdraw money in Binance.com? Um, so yeah, let's head, head over and let's get started. So there are actually two ways in which you can fund your Binance uh, account. So I'm talking about Binance.com, yeah, not Binance SG. Because Binance SG, you can only buy and sell cryptos and that's about it. But Binance.com, that there's a lot of different things you can do. You can actually uh, put it in a flexible savings account which you, you anywhere from um, you know 1% to as much as 10% on your capital which is insane. Flexible saving deposit. There's also um, staking where you can stake your coin to earn as much as 20% a year. Liquidity, you know, pooling. But I'm not going to go into all the investment topics. If you're interested in that, just ask me in the comment section below. Today, we're going to talk purely about how do you actually fund your account, right? So let's head over to the screen. So before we begin, just a quick shout out. You know, for those of you that are planning to mine, I'm using this Ezeal Dual Mining where I mine both Ethereum and Ezilica. And turns out the profitability is better than Spark Pool and Ethermine. So just a quick shout out for those of you that are interested to mine, use my referral code and you'll get like 0.25% cashback. I didn't use uh, anybody's referral code and I got like 0.1% cashback, which is bad because that's 0.1%. So far, it's been great. It's been giving me like, I think, two payouts. Uh, so there's one here and then there's one here. So every two days approximately, I get one payout of about $80, I think, every three, four days. So in total, in a month, I make about $600, which is blows my mind. Okay, so let's get back, back to the main topic. Okay. Before you can send United States dollars over, you need to open a multi-currency account. So for me, I use DBS because it's like the biggest bank or the most prominent bank in Singapore. So you just search multi-saving account, uh, head over to do, 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 yeah, this page and then you can start creating a multi-currency account. This is my account. But the idea is that create a multi-currency account which allows you to convert your Singapore dollars to US dollars really easily. So in order to find your Binance account, the first thing you need to go is to your wallet on Binance.com. Uh, if you haven't created an account, you know, links in the description below. Uh, so do check that out. So click on the wallet. Then the first thing you need to go is to Fiat and Spot. So when you're in this page, you need to go to the Deposit tab. And what would show is it will show you the deposit instruction. And you'll be like, what is Silvergate Bank? Right, so basically a Silvergate bank is the bank in which Binance.com uses to uh, hold their fiat currency. Think of DBS but in an uh, unknown country. It's not unknown but it's a very small country in the world. Yeah, so I'll tell you why it's very weird later on. So this is the first way you can fund to fund USD direct into Binance.com. What this means though is that you need to convert uh, your Singapore dollars to United States dollars and then send it over. And there are a lot of problems that I encountered when I tried to send money into Binance.com using this method. But this is the method which I started with. It's very straightforward once you know how to do it. The second method which I will talk about is to basically use Singapore dollars to buy cryptocurrency and then send that cryptocurrency over to Binance.com. I haven't done this method, so I'm going to explore this method and see which kind of gives us the better exchange rate in this video. So bear in mind, uh, I'm going to share with you what I know. Of course, if there are updates, um, can feel free to check out the comments. I'm sure someone's going to share like what's a better deal, right? But more importantly is you kind of understand the principle of how to find the cheapest way to transfer money because if you transfer a huge amount of money, it could cost uh, hundreds of dollars uh, if you're not careful with how you send your money. All right, so let's uh, kind of dive right into it. So the first way is sending US dollars. So here's the page, the Fiat page, Silvergate Bank. Uh, so this is for, I think, corporate accounts only, yeah, corporate users only. So SWIFT is the only way which 
which we can send. Apparently, you need to type in the amount so that they can verify it for you. So, you know, in this video, I'm going to just do a very hypothetical amount. 1,500 USD, I think. I'll change it later if I'm wrong. So, basically, you can only deposit 1,500 USD. And when you deposit USD, what Binance will do is automatically convert it to Binance USD, which is a crypto coin already. Basically, BUSD is kind of like a one-to-one -one from US dollars to crypto. It's almost one-to-one. -one. Um, reason being they, that Binance said is that it lowers their cost. Um, so just bear that in mind. When I first saw this, it made me kind of feel like, whoa, this is kind of shady business right there. Uh, but so far as of now, it's been about a month. It's been hacked very closely uh, from one US dollars to one BUSD. All right, so let me check, make sure the audio is working. So what you do is you type the amount of USD you're going to send, it's $0 fee, you press continue, and you will, they will give you this reference code. So it's very, very, very important that you save this reference code because when you actually send it from DBS, uh, this reference, reference code is important if you want that money to actually end up in your account. So you press continue, they will give you the full details. So this is all the details you need. I'm going to tell you what are the details I input into my DBS account so that you can use the same uh, details. So this is a uh, DBS account. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to uh, DBS Remit and Overseas Transfer and then head over to this add a new recipient page and just copy everything over. Just copy here, paste, select country, which it does not say. So you kind of need to check up, say Chilis. I think it's called say Chilis. Yeah, so it's a very, very interesting country. Apparently, this country doesn't have poster code. And that is why it's um, kind of, you know, hard to identify where exactly is that building. So, uh, and if you find out, I think it's a ghost office, shadow office. Yeah, so it's not quite the Binance office. So this is the Swift code. You send it here, paste, find Swift code. So then you realize very quickly, where is the bank? You can't find it. <gasps> So here's what I did. So what you need to do is you switch to United States, the US. So that's where you want to send the money to. Same day transfer, zero dollars. The address, other banks of the United States of America. Go over here, copy the SWIFT code, paste the SWIFT code, fine. And it should give you more access behind. It should be Silvergate. Silvergate Bank. There we go. So there is the one with the um, GUS66, GUS66. Yeah, so this is the one you want to select. Um, so address line, just copy accordingly. This is your address line. You probably can't paste everything here. Yeah, so I realize you need to copy this manually. So this is the address line, other banks of America, Silvergate recipient account number. I'm going to go here, copy. Paste. So yes, you have, you know, uh, edit details, press next. Yeah, so please note that the pay already exists in your account. Uh, of course, for me, I already added the recipient. So in order to transfer, all you need to do is just go to DBS Remit. In this case, it's over here. You can see I transferred 2 USD, 2,000 USD transfer again. Uh, what's really important is payment details for recipient. You must, must, must put the reference code. Otherwise, your money will get stuck somewhere and that's going to be a big problem. So here's the reference code for me. Uh, you have read, then you can see I'm sending, you know, thousand blah, 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 blah. So what happens is that they tell you the exchange rate, right? So let's say if I were to press back, amend, I'm going to amend the sum. Um, I'm going to use my multiplier account, which has to $3,000. Let's see how much I can get with $3,000. So I get about 2,218 BUSD in this case. So that's what I will be getting. So if you look at transfer wise, you need to add uh, a new account. So I added the account, uh, I think it was Mal Malta. So I added the address, I added the details. And the reason why I added Malta is because they require a poster code in which Binance.com doesn't have. And when I try to add them, what happens is that in the end, you know, I managed, I took like one over hour to figure out what's the address, poster code, uh, you know, how to play with these details. But you know what's the real problem? The problem is transfer-wise do not support Binance.com. And the reason being is that Binance.com, your wallet does not have your name. It's like to key vision development limited and not like Gerald Ong. And the problem with that is that Transferwise cannot verify that it's your account and therefore blocks the transaction. So that's terrible. I mean, it's good for safety, but it's terrible if you want to transfer money in. 
where, where else your banks like DBS Bank, OCBC Bank, your multi-currency account allows you to transfer money in uh, without actually checking that it's you. How much are we getting if I just you know, did it the direct method? So there's the second method, which is to send basic cryptos over to Binance.com. And in this case, it's a little bit different uh, because I haven't actually set up a Binance Singapore account because they don't have a referral program. And who doesn't have a referral program? All right, so now we are at Binance.com. Um, what you can do though is to deposit top up through X first. So when you top up through X first, it you know, tops up in SGD. I am not sure about the delay. So I heard from friends that there is some sort of delay when you transfer through X first, it's extremely slow. So an alternative to that is used to use Gemini. So Gemini kind of allows fast transfer. But what I heard is that Gemini does not have as good an exchange rate as uh, Binance.sg. All right, so now let's look at the spot rates, right? So I wanted to put like two, 3,000 Singapore dollars. Let's see how much we can get. Uh, 24 hour limit. So yeah, apparently Binance Singapore has a limit of $30,000 annual spending limit. So in order to buy, you actually need to buy, verify your identity first. Two hours later. Yeah, I can't log in to my Xfus account. Sorry guys, apparently I am unable to verify my account. Apparently my account is linked to Binance.com. I have no idea why. Anyways, let's just use this page and assume that it's accurate, right? So um, I want to buy with 3,000 Singapore dollars. Oh, by the way, if you want to send money like crypto from exchange to exchange, right? There is this thing called the gas fee. So gas fees are like fees that the blockchain kind of charges you, which goes to the miners like me. And for coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum, the fees are crazy expensive. For Ethereum, sorry, for Bitcoin, I think the fees is like $16 flat, which is insane. And for uh, Ethereum, it's like $3 to $5. So the, fast, the more money you put in as gas fees, the faster it gets transferred. Kind of like riding a bus, right? The higher you bid the faster you can get on the bus. So I realized don't send Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum over to your Binance.com. You will realize a huge amount of money just went missing, poof. And that's because the miners kind of earn your money for it. So what I've learned is that the cheapest is uh, Ripple, which is XRP, which the fees are like 0 0.00001 cent per transaction. So that's the cheapest. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, which is BCH, is also really, really good. It's like 0 0.2 cent uh, per, no matter amount, the amount of money you transfer, which is amazing. So if you were to buy XRP uh, with $3,000, let's see how much you can get. You can buy about 4,700, uh, 4,874 Ripple. And what you then need to do is to send uh, the ripple over to your Binance wallet. So you need to go to Binance.com, you go to uh, your fiat and spot. And instead of going to fiat, which is your US dollars, you go deposit. You're going to deposit into you know, crypto and reload. And you're going to go XRP. XRP. You know it's annoying when you click and it doesn't show up. So Enter both tag and address data which are required to deposit the Binance account successfully. So this is the XRP blockchain. Uh, if you're not very, yeah, so this is XRP. This is the XRP address. This is the tag. So you need to copy both of them and deposit, you know, fill in the details in Binance.sg. Send the money over. Just to be honest with you guys, I have not tested this method because I don't even have a Binance SG account. Um, yeah, so this is kind of how the idea of it works and you pay only two cents. So uh, if you go to Binance.com, let's see what are the rates we can get. Let's go see the, go to exchange. Uh, let's go and check. It was 4,874. Never mind. That's a lot. Uh, so if you go to the trading screen, you see XRP. Boom. XRP BTC. XRP BUSD. So BUSD is another word, basically US dollar. Where do I buy? Huh. Sell XRP. If I were to sell this amount, I would get $2,250. And I sent 
basically I send 3,000 Singapore dollars, I get 2,252 BUSD. When I go to iBanking, I try to transfer 3,000 dollars, I get 2,218. And over here, I got 2,215. I made $40 on exchange rates. Yeah, that's how it works. So minus of transaction fees, you would probably make some money, but do bear in mind uh, if the market, you know, if you transfer through this method, you probably will get a better exchange rate theoretically. But if the price of the coin falls rapidly, you will lose money very rapidly. So uh, try to do it during peacetime, which is like the weekends, you know, it's quite flat or when there are no big news in the stock market because the stock market or crypto market is kind of correlated uh, so you want to make sure that everything is kind of you know stable at less than three percent move in 24 hours so that's a good time to kind of be sending money in and out all right so now let's compare the rates from uh, gemini and binance.sg because i want to see which gives a better rate apparently you can't transfer xrp and gemini i tried to search for it doesn't work Nope, so now let's look at Bitcoin Cash, which is the second best alternative, right? So now we are at Bitcoin Cash page. Um, so if we look at uh, Gemini, 3,000 Singapore dollars, we get 4.42 and Bitcoin, sorry, Binance.sg, you get 4.46. So obviously Binance SG has a much better uh, exchange rate. And that's why you saw that, you know, the exchange rate arbitrage, you can get like free $40 if you deposit money. I'm going to try that right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it, send Ripple to uh, Binance.com and I'll let you know in the comment section below, so do check it out. So when it comes to withdrawing money from Binance.com to Singapore dollars, it's the same thing, two ways to do it. Either you, you, know, you withdraw United States dollars to your bank account or you basically transfer the crypto from Binance.com to Binance SG, sell the crypto and get Singapore dollars. Actually, there's a third method, which is the peer-to-peer -peer method, but that's a little bit tricky i'll talk about that in another video so the concept or out of all three methods i found the best way to withdraw to be um to basically transfer cryptos to singapore oh, sorry to binance.sg and then sell it off uh, because binance charges a 25 dollars withdrawal fee uh, for united states dollars and that changes the whole thing because depositing is free withdrawal you pay 25 dollars and friends that is how you send money from singapore dollars to binance.com and busd binance sg the best possible ways these are the two ways i know i'm pretty sure there are better ways do let me know in the comment section below i hope this video is helpful and if you have any questions about um cryptos do feel free to ask me in the comment section below i've been exploring it frantically for a while researching it how it works finding good deals so i'm happy to share them uh, maybe in the next video i'll share about investing does that interest you if you're interested to invest you know your singapore dollars and cryptos let me know in the comment section below and i'll share with you what are my thoughts on where the best places and safest place to put put your money to get a high return on investment i hope this video was helpful leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week take care everyone